Windows 7 is an interesting operating system. Released three years after Windows Vista, it improved on many of Vista's shortcomings. Windows 7 also introduced new features along the way, such as the new Super Bar, which removed the title bar on the open applications in the taskbar, and as well as this, developers could implement their loading bars into the Super Bar. Both these features persist to this day with Windows 11. The desktop slideshow feature was added, for rotating between images on the desktop. The gadgets were no longer confined to a taskbar like on Vista, and arrow peek was added to quickly see which open apps you have on the desktop. And that's just the features that stand out to me, as a lot of minor changes were added to the OS. Windows Arrow, the visual theme of Vista and 7, was modified to be less focused on the subject of auroras. Windows 7's Harmony wallpaper is one of the primary images used in the Frutigia Arrow movement, with its implied optimism and utopian peace. While we are currently towards the latter half of the minimalism hell, where every app icon and design element is flat and simple, Windows 7 was the last operating system from Microsoft to heavily lean into skeuomorphism, with realistic icons, glass textured title bars, and the way the operating system plays with light sources. And a lot of people, understandably, miss that. We've been stuck with flat design since 2012 on Windows. 12 years is long enough for us to get nostalgic of Windows 7's visual design, and in fact, over the whole operating system. With Windows 10 and 11, the operating system is no longer a vessel for our apps and games. It's now a living, breathing platform, with ads and constant nagging to use Microsoft services, including Copilot, which is being shoehorned into every part of Microsoft's ecosystem. So with that context out of the way, what if you could transform Windows 10 to be Windows 7 again, with its simpler apps and the nostalgic, yet still beautiful design? Well, if you read the title of this video, you know that this is a possibility, thanks to the user I'm Sword Queen over on DeviantArt, who has created a truly impressive transformation pack. The first thing that shocked me was the installer itself. It recreates the Windows 7 installer. If you were to pop in a Windows 7 disk into your system, this is exactly how Windows would install. From here, we can customize the branding of the OS, as well as the ribbon appearance, a big part of core Windows 7 applications, and the Explorer design. After this, just like the Windows installer, it then takes over your desktop and starts transforming the OS in the background. This took an eternity, by the way, longer than the Windows 10 install itself took. The start menu is handled by Start is Back and everything else can be enabled and disabled on the fly with Windhawk. I am seriously impressed with how fully featured this transformation pack is. From the gadgets, to the volume bar, to the Windows 7 control panel, everything is here, as it should be. The stock Windows 7 programs and games are also installed. In case you are feeling nostalgic for that non-ad-ridden Minesweeper, or for Purple Place, a game I played a lot when I was little on Windows Vista. We even have the Windows 10 MSN widget, for better or for worse. And we even have some of the less useful apps from 7, like the XPS Viewer and DVD Maker for example. But in terms of sheer features, this transformation pack acts almost exactly like Windows 7. We can even access our Windows 10 apps, or alternatively delete them to get rid of duplicates. The only thing that isn't here is the Windows Photo Viewer, though I do prefer the Legacy Photos app anyway. We also have the default themes and sounds too, and even the screensavers. And, possibly best of all, we even have a dark mode, which wasn't in Original 7. This transformation pack isn't perfect however. DPI support within Windows 7 apps is more or less fine, but the actual theme breaks when above 100% scaling. And I've had crashes relating to the error injection into the DWM, though the no glow button version seems to fix that. Furthermore, certain changes to the OS are now harder to do because of the Windows 7 elements. For example, I cannot change DPI per app like on Windows 10, though we can still access the Windows 10 settings app and the notification center. While some regional themes are included in the OS, the Polish one doesn't seem to work, reverting back to a glitched Windows 10 skin instead. Would I recommend this transformation pack on the main system install? Not yet, for a few reasons. These reasons include DPI scaling, the possible stability issues that can crop up, and the fact that Windows 10 will be unsupported as of next year. So if you are still on 10, you should think about switching to 11 sooner than later. But if you are sticking to 10 till next year, and you have a 1080p monitor, and know how to do a system backup, I say why not? Their transformation pack overall is very well made, and I have to give the biggest props to the creator for pulling this off, and for it being an EXE instead of a full system ISO that will require a system reinstall with a non-updated version of 10. Plus, the developer has said that they will be adding more features, like the Windows 7 logon screen, so this isn't the last time this mod will be updated. But if Windows 7 isn't quite your thing, check out my videos on Windows 10 skin to look like Windows XP, and Windows 10 skin to look like Windows 2000. Thanks for watching.